After you have completed the tutorial you will understand the use and characteristics of the PIR motion sensor. You will understand the use and characteristics of a passive buzzer. You will understand the use and characteristics of the OLED I2C. And you will understand the use and characteristics of the RFID module. For implementation on the Smart Home for Seniors house model you need the following. A Raspberry Pi Pico. A full-size breadboard. A micro USB cable. The PIR motion sensor. 16 male to female jumper wires. The buzzer. The OLED I2C display. The RFID RC522 module. And the RFID tag. At least three installation steps are required for installing and controlling a security system using the before-mentioned sensors. First, install the sensors. Secondly, connect the electronics. Thirdly, write a program code. Mount the PIR motion sensor through the top left and bottom right mounting holes. Use two bolts and two nuts for this. Mount the OLED display through the top left and bottom right mounting holes. For this, use two bolts and two nuts. And, mount the RFID sensor through the top left and bottom right mounting holes. And use two bolts and two nuts. On the right side piece you will need to mount the 5 volt buzzer. Insert the buzzer to the upper right corner slot and make sure its pins are on the inside of the house model. Friction will keep it in place. For installing the PIR motion sensor, connect the red cable to the 5 volt rail. Connect the black cable to the GND rail. And connect the yellow cable to GPIO 22 pin. For installing the passive buzzer, connect the longer end of the buzzer to GPIO 6 pin. And connect the shorter end of the buzzer to the GND pin. For installing the OLED display, Connect the red cable to the 3V3 rail. Connect the black cable to the GND rail. Connect the green cable to GPIO 14. And connect the blue cable to GPIO 15. For installing the RFID Reader RC522, connect the red cable to the 3V3 rail. Connect the black cable to the GND rail. Connect the purple cable to GPIO 28 pin. Connect the green cable to GPIO 17 pin. Connect the yellow cable to GPIO 18 pin. Connect the orange cable to GPIO 19 pin. And connect the blue cable to GPIO 16 pin. For generating the program code you will find a detailed description in the learning module. Please follow the instructions there. You will learn how the software and hardware components work together. And, you will get to know more about Thonis environment and its additional functions.